Ozempic, or semaglutide, is a drug that is used to treat type 2 diabetes in adults to improve blood sugar levels and also used to lower the risk of major cardiovascular events like stroke, heart attack, or death for adults with type 2 diabetes with heart disease. Diabetes is not the reason I am making this video though. Ozempic has become a huge internet trend to help with weight loss. Ozempic does work a lot of the time and there have been many success stories while taking it. While it's good to be happy about weight loss and the many positives that come with it, there are plenty of negative side effects from this medication that you can get and it can lead to some serious problems. I found a couple of stories on the internet outlining negative experiences people have had with the diabetes medication and I want to showcase what could happen to you. I'm definitely not saying that it will because like I said, there are many success stories, but there are definitely some concerning aspects of the medication that you need to look out for before deciding to take this. All right, let's get into it. I caught the post yesterday about people lying about Ozempic and was too late to the party to share my experience. I worked with my doctor last summer and was prescribed Ozempic for weight loss. At the time, I was 38 years old, 6 foot 2 and 365 pounds, and I am male. I had just done my annual checkup and all my blood work was normal. No high A1C, no high cholesterol, no high sodium, etc, etc. As a bit of a backstory to this, in the past I pretty much would just eat until the food in front of me was gone. That's what I was taught growing up, eat until your plate is clean. It's a habit I've struggled with and have yet to overcome. I don't really know the difference between hungry and not full. For me it's basically, I'm hungry and then holy shit, I'm so fucking stuffed I could pop. So last summer my doctor started me on Ozempic at 0.25 milligrams weekly dosage. I was at this dose for about 3 months and then increased to 0.5 milligrams weekly. For the first 2 months, the change was absolutely unfreaking believable. I would sit down to a meal, eat some, and actually feel full. I was able to easily stop eating with portions of food on my plate and feel completely satisfied. In those first 2 months, I dropped 15 pounds. In month 3, I was still actually feeling full at meals, snacking between meals less, but the weight wasn't really dropping any longer. This is why the doctor increased me to 0.5 milligrams. After starting the 0.5 milligrams a week dose, this is where it all went downhill. Fast. The side effects came on hard, fast, and strong. If I ate more than say half a sandwich at a meal, I would become so overwhelmingly bloated that I was burping constantly. Like literally two big burps every three minutes for hours. On top of that, at this point it made my burps smell and taste so ungodly disgusting. Think straight sulfur plus an outhouse at a NASCAR race in summer at the end of race weekend. Additionally, there were three times in a two week period that I became so bloated that it made me vomit. A lot. And I'm not exaggerating that it was complete projectile vomiting out of my mouth and nose. It was an absolutely ungodly horrible experience. As if those side effects weren't bad enough, it also gave me horrible, uncontrollable diarrhea that met the clinical definition of severe. There were a few days where I couldn't leave the toilet more than 10 to 15 minutes at a time. There was one night I fell asleep on the toilet because I was so tired from getting up to run to the toilet to poop. Anyways, I stopped taking Ozempic after that experience. However, working with my doctor's input, I did stop taking it for just over a month until my system was back to normal and then tried the 0.25 milligram dosage again to see if I still had all the side effects or not. I did. So the reason to share this is that I wanted to put out there my real world experience. I'm hopefully in the minority of users that get the horrible side effects and hopefully your experiences will be better than mine. The key takeaways for me is that I need to learn the difference between fool and not hungry and stop treating them as the same feeling. It also taught me that yes, I indeed can actually make it by without snacking and without eating a bunch of food at every meal. Hopefully at some point I'll build up better self-control and be able to manage that without medication.
So I've been taking Ozempic for about three months. Started on the 0.25, then the 0.5, now the one milligram, and I've been on it for about six weeks. So, the side effects. One, explosive diarrhea without warning. That has to be the worst one. It's meaning I don't dare go out in case it hits and there's no toilet around. Or worse, a queue of people waiting for them. Yes, this has happened to me. Two, fatigue. I'm exhausted all the time. Three, zero appetite. I no longer enjoy food. It's more of a chore. Four, feeling run down like I've got the flu. But my control is so much better. Emphasis on the so. I've lost weight and my diabetic numbers are amazing. So I'm a day late taking it because yesterday I was a million percent sure I couldn't do this again. But I have to try and I'd love any advice you've got. Could certain food be triggering the diarrhea? I found it doesn't matter where I inject or when. It's unpredictable. I did notice after a fruit smoothie once though and some of the posts on here have me thinking. I'm lactose intolerant with IBS, so I'm not sure what probiotics I could take, if any, but I'll go and Google it. Anyway, for context, I'm a type 2 diabetic. Thanks. I just got to the max dose of Ozempic, and it's killing me with nausea and vomiting, specifically after a workout. I do roller derby three to four hour practices twice a week and weightlifting twice a week. Ever since increasing to the max dose, I'm throwing up multiple times the day after. The first week I definitely wasn't eating enough for how much I was working out, but I've been tracking and making sure I'm eating around 2,000 calories a day, which is honestly challenging to hit. Has anybody experienced this and was able to control it? What worked for you? The med has been working great for me, so I don't want to stop it but this sucks. I began Ozempic with the approval of my doctor and pharmacist as a way to lose weight around June 2023. It started off great. In the first two months, I went from 190 pounds to 178 pounds. I couldn't believe how much it worked. In August 2023, I ended up in a hospital after staying in my buddy's cottage. At first, we thought it was the Ozempic, but everyone at the cottage got sick, so we chalked it up to a flu that was going around. I got the okay from my pharmacist last week to begin Ozempic again, and after just one shot of .25, it all went downhill from there. Currently, I am in the hospital with ulcerative colitis. A doctor and surgeon both heavily suspect Ozempic to be the culprit, as they've seen this one too many times now. I truly thought I was going to die last night. I apparently had reminded my partner where my will was located while the doctors were racing around me. This all being said, it is wonderful seeing it work for so many people, and I am definitely not trying to get people to stop taking it if it works for them. My message at the end of the day is to listen to your body and be careful with what you put inside of it. Don't be discouraged if it doesn't work for you. Your health and life are more important than anything. I'll be holed up in the hospital for a couple days, so if anyone has any questions, please shoot me a message. I have been lifelong wide back. Even in the military, I was still heavy and found it impossible to lose weight. Two years ago, I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and have been desperately trying to lose weight, eat better, and keep my A1C and blood sugar under control. While my numbers aren't super terrible, in conjunction with metformin, my endo doctor suggested Ozempic about a year ago to help my A1C and weight. I started on the smallest dose and was titrated to the 2 mg dose over the span of 6 months and have been on that dosage for another 6 months. My gastro issues began almost immediately. First, it was frequent trips to the bathroom, which is stated and explained upon beginning the medication and is a normal side effect. After a couple months of being on Ozempic, my gastro issues changed and I was having quite a bit of distress. Frequent burps that tasted slightly alcoholic, I don't really drink, cramping, stomach pain, upwards of 10 trips to the bathroom a day, not normal. 
I was diagnosed with an H. pylori infection. For those that don't know, H. pylori is a bacteria that most of us have. It's very common. Most people have a healthy enough gut system that the bacteria never grows to infection levels and causes any kind of problems, but large enough infections can cause peptic ulcer disease and even stomach cancer. I was on medication for three months and had two reoccurrences. While my gastro issues and H. pylori infections were ongoing, I also began to feel more depressed. I have been in therapy and on SSRIs for a while since my mother's passing, so I felt maybe this was just continued symptoms of that. Upon beginning the 2 mg dose, I felt yet another H. pylori infection happening, and my depression seemed to spiral. I began to have frequent suicidal ideation, something I have never experienced before. I was a complete wreck. I would get incredibly sad and cry for seemingly no reason, had a hard time wanting to eat because of the fact it would end up in the toilet a few hours later, and just couldn't get my symptoms under control. A week or two ago, I stumbled across an article. I read it and instantly felt that my problems made sense. I asked my therapist to correlate my beginning of the 2 mg dose of Ozempic and my reports of more severe signs of depression. They coincide within three weeks. I showed him the article and he recommended I talk with my endo doctor and discontinue Ozempic. My endo agreed. I have been off Ozempic for two weeks. My stomach issues have nearly resolved and my depression is more than manageable. I feel much more like my old self. While I am more snacky now and my battle with wanting to eat is far from over, I feel a hundred times better. My advice is this. Listen to your body and pay attention to timelines. If you begin Ozempic, or really anything with some aglitude, please pay attention to any side effects. They could be serious, and in some cases, life-threatening. Obese people like myself are already prone to depression, and when we report symptoms to our doctors, many times they are brushed off as obesity-related issues and not potentially dangerous side effects. Don't be like me and endure these symptoms because you're desperate to lose weight. TLDR was put on Ozempic. This led to decreased ability to fight H. pylori bacteria and a severe increase in depression and suicidal ideation. Then I got off Ozempic and my symptoms are resolving.